So we were looking at addressing as part of the IP protocol, but first let me see how much you remember. So we saw that flat addressing is a no-no. We need structure as part of the IP address to handle scalability. Accordingly, we divided an IP address into a network portion as well as a host portion. That way, routers can only maintain one entry corresponding to a network and not maintain individual host entries. We also saw this addressing was divided into classes A, B, C, D, E, but D and E are special addresses. So A, B, C is what is relevant and this was done to handle different network sizes. So this should take care of things. What can potentially go wrong? At the beginning, nothing really went wrong. But as internet grew and as more and more networks got added, this was found not to be scalable. Can you think of why? What is wrong with this classful addressing? So here is the problem. Remember that a network part uniquely identifies a physical network. Suppose you have a network with just two hosts. Now what class address will you give such a network? And what do you think is the efficiency of your address space? So let me clarify something here. There is an IP address. This is an address given to a host which is 32 bits. And then there is a class address, for example a class B address. An example of this could be 190.23.star.star .star .star .star, where the network portion is the 16 bits. Such a class B address could be allocated to a given network where the host will take these portions where you have 2 to the power of 16 combinations and you can assign these addresses to the different hosts. So a class B address corresponds to a block of IP addresses. So this is something to keep in mind. Now going back to the question, for a network with just two hosts, what class address will you give and what is the address space efficiency? Now if you have this network with just two hosts, it still needs a class C address because class B and class A support lot more hosts. Class C supports the least number of hosts, so you need to give it a class C address. And now what is the efficiency? One class C address because it has 8 bits corresponding to the host part can support 2 to the power of 8 hosts. So the efficiency is if you allocate this to this particular network is you are using 2 addresses out of 2 to the power of 8. That means you have an efficiency of 0.7%. Very low efficiency. What if you have a network with 256 hosts? What class address will you give? And what is the efficiency of this, the address space? Well, you need to give a class B address because class C will not support this. And here is, you can potentially support 2 to the power of 16 hosts, but you are only using 256 host addresses. So the efficiency is even worse of only 0.4%. So we must have been quite happy, 32 bits means we can support 2 to the power of 32 hosts which roughly translate into 4 billion hosts. But when you are allocating the addresses, there is so much inefficiency, you cannot even reach this number. Among class A, B, C addresses, which address do you think will be in most demand? The number of organizations that support 2 to the power of 24 hosts whereby they need a class A address are going to be very few because these are really big organizations. So most organizations will fall in the category of either class C or class B but often when an organization even if it has only let's say 150 hosts while it can manage with a class C address would ideally want a class B address because in the future this organization can grow and then it can't say I want a class B address now. So it's better for an organization keeping in future needs in mind to ask for a class B address. Given this, roughly when do you think the address space will run out? By which I mean you do not have any addresses to give to networks. As people keep asking for class B addresses, once you are out of class B addresses, that's it, you are out of the addresses to hand out and there are 
class B addresses the number of such addresses are 2 to the power of 14 which roughly translates into 16,000. Even though you can potentially support 4 billion host, once this address space runs out, you are in trouble. And that's precisely what has happened as internet grew. So we need to solve this problem of address assignment inefficiency, but the biggest challenge is you still need to work within the IP framework where you are having to use 32 bit IP addresses. Well, you could say I will go for more number of bits for the IP addresses. So that's what IP version 6 did, but this was already deployed the IP version 4 and you cannot say I will quickly transition to IP version 6 because there was a lot of investments in the routers, host and the software that these routers and hosts run. So you can't make changes instantaneously, it will take some time. Within this, you still need to solve the scalability problem. How to solve this within the IP framework? So what are your thoughts? How will you solve this problem? So here is some yarn for you to help solve the problem. The gem cannot be polished without friction. No man perfected without trials. So the IP protocol, you cannot perfect it without such problems. And people went on to solve this problem. So it's feasible. And the attitude to solve this problem is captured by this quote. You see a mouse trap, I see free cheese and a dash challenge. I will let you fill these entries up. This is a censored word. So tell me, given 32 bits and this class A, class B, class C addressing and the fact that once you are out of class B, you are out of addresses, how will you solve this scalability problem? That is the address assignment inefficiency problem. To set the context, let's look at a very specific example. Suppose there is an organization, it has 30 different physical networks and each networks roughly there are about 2000 hosts. So the first question is, in the original IP, how many addresses will you give to this particular organization and what class of addresses will you give? Don't think of the solution I asked for earlier. In the regular, the original IP, what would you do? Well, there are 30 different physical networks. That means you will need to allocate 30 addresses. Since each has 2000 hosts, a class C address will not suffice. You need to give class B addresses. So you will allocate 30 class B addresses. And the efficiency here is you're only supporting 2000 hosts out of 2 to the power of 16 hosts, that is an efficiency of only 3%. You have wasted a lot of addresses. Do you think we can manage with one class B address? Well, the calculation says yes, because you have 2 to the power of 16 hosts you can support as part of class B, that is 65,536 hosts, and the number of hosts that are part of this organization is 30 into 2000, that is 60,000, which is less than 65,536. But how do we allocate this class B address to these 30 different physical networks? The answer is not difficult. You have seen the solution before. 